Welcome back to No Apologies. Today we're going to move on to our third step, which is to show that man has an obligation to practice religion. And the plan today will be to tell what exactly I mean by religion, and then to show how it is that the first step and the second step lead up to this third step. So first of all, what do we mean by religion? Well, by religion, what we mean is man's act of justice by which we render to God the worship, the gratitude, and obedience which is due to Him. This is done both uh, privately as individuals and is done publicly as social beings. And this virtue of religion has two demands. The first demand is an obligation of prayer. It's in prayer that we express our worship to God, our gratitude, and we ask Him for the necessities of this life. Now the second is that we must render to God our obedience, to live our lives as He expects us to live them. Now at this point in our vlogs, we can't have recourse to any aspects of divine revelation as to see how God expects us to live, but we do assert that every human being is created with the Creator's law in his heart. We all naturally know an injustice when we see it. We all naturally know that it's right to obey our parents and that we should take care of our parents in the future when the tables are turned. We all can perceive that acting in, in this way is a good for oneself and for society and acting in this way is a bad for oneself and for society. So we have an obligation then to form our conscience according to that law that's in our heart and to obey the dictates of that law. So those two parts of religion, prayer and obedience, correspond to our first and our second step. In the first step, we came to the acknowledgement that God is our creator. So we recognize that we owe all things to God and he is our he he has sovereign dominion over us and we are completely and utterly dependent upon him for our continued existence and for our well-being. And so it's only right that we acknowledge this and Again, we do that in our prayer. And we also acknowledge that by seeing God as our sovereign dominion, we have no right to act as we want to act, but we must conform ourselves to the Creator's law and act as He has created us to act. In the second step, we recognize that man will continue to live on even after he has died. Recognizing that step, we also saw that out of necessity of justice, we'll have to render an account for the way that we have lived our life here. This also leads us to prayer because we want to ask God for his mercy and his forgiveness for our failings and shortcomings. And so to it, it motivates us to observe God's law because as creatures, we want to be pleasing to our creator and also because we want things to go well with us when the time comes that we meet our creator face to face. So acknowledging God's sovereign dominion and acknowledging that we will continue to live on and have to render account for the way that we've lived this life leads to the obligation of man to practice religion by prayer and obedience to God's commands. Thanks for joining me here on No Apologies. Ave Maria. Mm -hmm.